Good morning. It's February 4th. I was so excited to sign up a new client last night. I forgot to make coffee. So we are going to start this morning with the cinnamon crunchios and I'm making hot coffee now. Okay, that's fine. Um, so with the cinnamon crunchios, you can have one cup of unsweetened almond milk. I like this one. I like to measure it out because it's a lot of milk and if I just eyeball it, I don't give myself enough milk. So that's pretty good. All right, we get kind of a busy day today. Whew, we gotta go get our classes done. We're gonna finally go change our nails. That's fun. Although this was kind of amazing. My gel nail polish, it grew out, so it looks a little bad, but it didn't chip, so that was fun. All right, um, it's the little things in life, especially during quarantine. Like, woohoo, my, my, my manicure didn't chip. All right. Mm. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my crunchios, go get ready for school. I'll see you back here for second fueling. All right, time for fueling two. I made the cinnamon apple oatmeal. Came out pretty good today. We're doing client support calls, so we're actually running a little late. It's like 10.30 here this morning. Oatmeal is pretty good. Again, if you let it sit a little bit longer, the texture gets a little bit closer to oatmeal. And then if you nuke it a little bit to get rid of some of the extra water, it does help this out. I've been trying to work on my habit of motion a little bit. So for the month of February, I started doing 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups. And then every day I try to add two. And then I got up to 24 and it got a little hard. Um, but today I did manage to do 26 push-ups and 26 sit-ups. And I must say, I'm ex-military and this shouldn't be this hard, but it's really kind of difficult. <laughs> so if you are also working on your habits of uh, motion, let me know down below, like what little things you're adding. Normally I just try to get a walk in, but it's so cold lately. I really, I don't think I've left my house in like three days, um, except to go grab takeout dinner. Um, all right, well, that's where I'm at. I'll see you in a couple hours for fueling three. Time for third fueling. We're going to have one of the cookies we made last night. So we mixed together the brownie, the chocolate chip cookie, and the peanut butter shake. I added two tablespoons of egg beaters and four tablespoons of water. I made three fuelings. Last night's dessert, this one, and there's one more for later. Pretty exciting. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my cookie fueling. Get ready to teach my third and fourth period class. And I will see you for fourth fueling. All right, it is time for fueling four. I am gonna eat this second cookie. I am out the door. I've got to get these nails cut down. They have become a little insane, but they were pretty while they lasted. Um, so we're gonna go get those fixed, enjoy this cookie and come home and make some sort of lean and green. We'll figure that out when we get home. I'll see you then. All right, I got my nails. I went with like a little wintry motif here. Um, so that's good and they got cut down. So that's very nice because although I always wanted really, really long nails, when I finally got them, they were driving me a little bit crazy. So I'm glad we cut them down. Let's see, I made myself an egg white omelet uh, with a little bit of ham and a little bit of cheese in there. So that's different. And we're just gonna do cauliflower for our green. That's in the microwave right now. Um, mm. Mm, it came out really good. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy my lean and green and my cauliflower. And um, We'll figure out something for dessert. See you then. All right, I was talking to one of my clients today and she didn't know how to make the brownie candy. So we're gonna take uh, the brownie and just put it in a bowl. 
And then we are gonna measure out one fourth of a cup of anything, water, decaf coffee. If you're not a thousand years old like me and you can still have regular coffee at night, go for it. I'm gonna use this morning cereal milk, which is gonna make it extra delicious. So we'll measure out a fourth of a cup of that. Stir it up. And then I just have a million of these because I don't really microwave anything. So I'm just gonna cover the candy into the bottom of these two dishes after I mix this all up. And then I'm gonna stick it in the freezer for about 45 minutes. So I like it not to sit in the freezer too long because it gets too icy and then you lose a lot of the good chocolatey flavor. Um, so 45 minutes makes it a little mushy, which I kind of like, but, uh, but, but, but solid enough that it kind of comes out. I don't know. I don't know. And you can decide how you like it. Some people make it in the morning and then they eat the candy at night because they like it more solid. I like it more mushy. All right, I'm gonna finish stirring this with both hands. I'm gonna fill the cups, stick them in the freezer, and I'll show them to you in 45 minutes. Alrighty, 45 minutes later, and we got two little dishes of chocolate candy, right? If you got the snack, uh, you can um, add some PB2 to this and make a peanut butter cup. So for those of you that are freaking out that the pudding's out of stock right now, it's good to figure out the different things you can do with the different fuelings you have. You can turn your brownies into candy, turn them into peanut butter cups, make them into waffles, make them into shake cakes, right? There's a lot of things we can do with all of the fuelings. I'm sure there's something you can substitute your pudding with. It's gonna be fine. So this is my delicious chocolate candy for my final dessert of the night. Mmm. It's so delicious with the little yogurt chips in it, make it like super special. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my dessert. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Drop some comments down below. Tell me how things are going for you and I will see you tomorrow.